Well, you know, I, the, the first guitar I owned wasn't one that I cared about owning. It was an acoustic that couldn't do at all what I wanted to do. I wanted to sound like Ace Frehley, and, and this was just a regular acoustic guitar. So, I, I, you know, I, I was, this is when I was seven years old, so I didn't play for like five years. And eventually my family agreed to buy me a Strat based on that I'd, I'd learned the whole Sex Pistols album on acoustic guitar and to show them that I was dedicated. And then, and then I got a Strat and then, you know, so... No, I never named it, but but my, my a Strat from like 1982 was my first guitar that I really put my love in. When you hear Jimi Hendrix play, it's a pure expression of him as a person. You see him on stage, and there's absolutely no separation between him and his guitar. They're completely one because he's just putting every single bit of everything in his whole psyche and every single part of his body into his guitar playing. I just idolized Flea and Anthony. I thought they were the be-all, end-all greatest people in the world before I was in the band. They were just my favorite, they were my favorite stars. And to be in a band with them for me like took a certain amount of adjusting. Chad, who didn't have that image of them prior to being in the band, really made it easier for me to like be able to like stand my ground and to be able to like stand up for myself. Like he was always encouraging me to like, you know, stick up for yourself. Don't let I've never taken anything so seriously in my life, and and, um, and I've never been so proud of anything that I've ever done because I've always felt like I was a failure, and now we've done something as a band of friends that I'm 100% proud of. do whereas on blood sugar um, I think for what I was capable of at that time I think I did the worst I could have done and I worked my way to it and I think it's a it's a healthy thing for any musician to to sometimes take that pressure off themselves of trying to do something that other people will think is good or that or even that you yourself think is good to see what happens if you try to make a piece of music you think is bad um, sometimes you'll be surprised with the result None of the hardships, like losing money or l losing my talent, or none of those things really made me want to stop. Uh, because I, I, I could sense where my stars were at, and I had the voices in my head telling me how much, how far I could go, and uh, and I went exactly that far, and then I stopped. 
I mean, I was very close to being dead for a long time, but I knew I wasn't going to die. Now And uh, you know that whatever things, whatever stories are in the music, there's always such a lot of joy and stuff like that in the music. Joy is good. So, and the band has had quite a history. So, what is this energy? Joy. It's the energy of joy. What does he say about joy? these jams just ended up being you know being just jams forever um by the way it was something where i felt like that uh that i was feeling when we were writing that song the same energy that i had been experiencing at the drum and bass club the night before and um there's a lot of fun jumping around and dancing at rehearsal and uh that's what this song reminds me of Real simply, I, I know that uh, I know that everybody 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 else in the band blew me away by how much better they they are than they've ever been, you know. So and and I think I've stepped up to that's how I feel about it, you know. It's up to the up to the public to decide with how they feel about it. You know? Yeah, 25, 25 songs. We recorded thirty eight. We're putting out twenty five. Sort of thing where you're going like. That got kind of Jimi Hendrix like rhythm technique or whatever, but it had been done the way he did it a lot, and so doing doing it doing it the way I did it on this song was was just a different approach. The so it doesn't sound like Jimi Hendrix, but in essence, it's not that far from. to when we were first writing writing it I had to make a rule for myself that I would only listen to electronic music at nighttime and during the daytime I would only listen to 
music played by real instruments because if I listened to electronic music and then I went to rehearsal, everything sounded so boring. Yeah, he's 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 back in our group, and it's it's uh, really exciting and fun, and and we just kind of picked up where we left off, you know. Um, we've known each other for so long, obviously. Our new and upcoming album, Unlimited Love. Apparently it's out April 1st, but you know how that goes. Hope you enjoy listening.